As with everything, it starts with education. And the role of ICT in our education sector amidst the COVID pandemic was seen even greater. Ahead of the pandemic, the Ministry of Education had already introduced its ICT in education policy. Our whole thrust was to see how best we can merge ICT in terms of our teaching, our instruction, and our very functions at the ministry. However, with the pandemic, we had to fast forward and increase, for instance, our one laptop per child program and our tablets to ensure that our students not only had the devices, but they had connectivity. Within the classrooms, we saw teachers who probably in the past would be hesitant move quite quickly into in online classes. Apart from online classes, within our very core functions, for instance, in the past, we would have um, our exams, which were hand, um, hand marked. Now we actually have our computer software in place, which um, allows us to better assess our students in a faster um, period than before. Um, at the ministry, we're always looking for ways to include ICT, as we have realized, it allows for greater use of our human resources, as well as our core functions being better. For instance, we're very much about be, making our decisions based on data. And currently the ministry is trying to work on introducing its very own um, education information management software, which would give um, basically at the moment data. So if you want to find out how many students are enrolled, you just need to click a button and you have that right there. In terms of our very um, functions. For instance, in the past, the ministry would probably have a correspondence desk at which once they get some hard copy information, it's stored in a file much less like our typical libraries. Right now, we have actually developed a software in which um, all correspondence which come in will be uploaded into a central database. So making it a lot easier to archive our information and guide our policies, our programs, and all our core functions. In terms of how we have ensured that um, the various parties which we represent are actually um, au courant with what we are doing and engaged and bought into it, we have been, first of all, engaging them. So in terms of when at the peak of the pandemic, when we had to consider how do we continue learning in St. Lucia, everyone was used to face to face. And even though in the past we had tried slowly to introduce online learning or even induce, infuse technology into the classroom, there might have been some hesitance. However, when the pandemic came around, there was no time to, um, to, to hesitate anymore. It was action. However, we met with our various stakeholders, the St. Lucia Teachers Union. We met, for instance, with parents. We met with the Ministry of Education, different, um, sorry, health and different other parties to get their opinion. How should we go forward? What can we do? So after engaging them, we came up with a continuity of learning plan. This plan was um, shared with various, again, further shared with our teachers, etc., who gave their feedback. And we will never meet every single person, but at least a representative sample, um, this was discussed with them. And so we came about with online learning through the Moodle platforms, Google Classrooms, etc. And some, for some parents and students, this would be new. And there was a little bit of difficulty, but some schools went the extra mile. They had training for parents, they had training for students, they had training for teachers. In fact, we have several projects going on right now through which we are continuing to do ICT training for our teachers to ensure that they can not just use the platform, but they can actually create content in a manner that it's not just a, a reflection of what was happening in the face-to-face -face classroom, but it is engaging and it is with the times. And some teachers have embraced the use of ICT so much, some don't see how they can go back. From this Public Service Day to the next Public Service Day, what we envision will be a Ministry of Education, or in fact, should I say, the whole core business of education being infused with even more ICT, both the hardware and the software. So for instance, we've been looking for, um, for, for donors for various projects to ensure that each child is equipped with the necessary devices to ensure that they have the, resource, the, the, the material, the teaching material, at their fingertips. Aside from that, we have been increasing connectivity um, within our classrooms and even trying to partner with various agencies to see whether if a child, if we had to go back on a lockdown um, again, that the child would be able to access internet from home. 
So no child is disadvantaged. In terms of our teachers, I'm sure by our next public service day, you'll have a lot more teachers competent, even more competent, I should say, in terms of the teaching and use of ICT and creating their own material. We, will, we are also looking to see how best we can create within that time uh, education information management software. This software will ensure that we have um, t um, timely data at the click of a finger.